I'm not in a good mood. I really am not. Um, the NBA season opened last night. First game of the year was the Los Angeles Lakers getting beat down. Um, you know, I shouldn't say beat down last night because it wasn't a beat down, but they were going up against the reigning defending NBA champion, Denver Nuggets, who beat them down by sweeping them four straight in the Western Conference Finals. And I'm pretty ticked off because it was a decent game. LeBron James was uh, held to 29 minutes uh, because they're managing his minutes for the time being. Uh, he's 39 years of age, going on 40 for the time, uh, supposedly is catching up to him. He's in his 21st season. Didn't look that way to me. LeBron James looked terrific uh, in the minutes that he was on the court. But here's the thing. I wish I could say the same about Anthony Davis. See, we're going to stop all of this nonsense right here. We're going to stop all of this nonsense. This is not throwing shade on the abilities of Anthony Davis. This is throwing shade on his, ability, on his willingness to maximize his abilities. You just signed for $62 million. $62 million per year. Three years, $186 million. You 6'10", 6'11". Offensively, you just finished averaging 25.9 .9 points, 12.5 rebounds per game, two blocks per game, shooting 56% from the field per game last season. Y'all got to the Western Conference Finals. You get smoked. You get swept. Nikola Jokic, bust your living ass. One day you dropped 40. The next game you dropped 11. This brother kept putting in triple doubles on you. Brought out the broomsticks. Sent you home. Talked smack to you while he did it. While he did it. Along with the rest of the Denver Nuggets team. That's what you said, Anthony Davis. That's what you said. You come in to last night's game. After living with that all off season, after talking about how you and LeBron have been talking because of the Denver Nuggets talking smack about you and how they talk to you when they want the court against you. And you said, man, we, we, we can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait. And then you show up in the season opener last night, fresh off of soaking in and having the stomach, all of that residue from getting swept, from somebody, from somebody talking smack to you while sweeping you, from having to live with that throughout the entire offseason. In the midst of that, you still managed to get $62 million a year. You got paid. Three-year, $162 million extension. That's what the Los Angeles Lakers gave you. That's what Jeannie Buss gave you. And after balling in the first half with 17 points, you Anthony Davis, whose A game is a top seven talent on the planet, as far as I'm concerned. And you go scoreless in the entire second half. You go scoreless. I don't want to hear about them doubling you. You could pass gas and get to the damn free throw line. You didn't attempt a free throw. You missed all six of your shots. And the rest of the team shot 54% from the field in the second half. You know what that tells me, Anthony Davis? That tells me, bro, that if you were ready to go, if you were ready to ball, y'all would have won the game. But that's the real story going on in Los Angeles, y'all, right now. The real story going on in Los Angeles is the fact that Anthony Davis, Charles Barkley calls him six flags. I call him, I'm sorry, he calls him street clothes. I call him six flags because he's a roller coaster. He's up and down. He's six flags. Great adventure. Amusement park. That's who he is. Sometimes it's amusing to watch. Sometimes it ain't. But it ain't no excuse for this BS. Anthony Davis is too great to be going scoreless in any half of a game. This brother can fall on his knees and still drop five points. What the hell is he talking about? And all of you people out there making excuses, shut the hell up! Anybody want to hear it? This is Anthony Davis. 
And why am I so pissed off? I'm going to tell you why. Number one, we all know I want to be in L.A. I ain't apologizing for that to anybody. That's where, I would, that's where the hell I want to be in June. I'd rather be in L.A. in Southern California instead of Northern California in June. I'd rather be in L.A. than in Denver, Colorado in a mile hot city with that damn altitude in June. I'd rather be in L.A. than in hot ass desert Phoenix, Arizona. I ain't apologizing. We all got our preferences and our proclivities. That's mine. Warm weather with flair and culture in Hollywood and Tinseltown as a backdrop. Hell yeah, I'm not apologizing for it. My dream is to have Miami and L.A. in the finals. Not when they're, not when they're in the damn bubble and nobody could get out because of COVID. I'm talking about when you got to go to each respective city back and forth. You ever want to see me happy to travel? Have me going back and forth between L.A. and Miami. I'm good. I'm good. That's where I'm coming from. That's where I'm at with it. And I'm telling you right now, I'm pretty damn pissed off at this BS. Because let me tell you something. We got to accept this for what it is. I got a producer here that thinks he knows his basketball. His name is Greg. He actually does. I feel bad for him. He's a Warriors fan. I don't think they're deep enough. I don't think they got enough big bodies, rather, to overcome the powers that be in the Western Conference. That's my personal opinion. But I'm here to tell y'all this, to make sure we understand one another clearly, once and for all. This is it for LeBron James. This is it. As great as that brother is, I got him number two all time, not number one. As phenomenal as he is, he can't do it by himself. And you got this cat, Anthony Davis. That on too many occasions, when it's required, the brother don't show up. How is LeBron James in better shape than you? How is LeBron James more ready for the season than you and you a decade younger? How is LeBron James answering the call and answering the bell more than you? You Anthony Davis, dog. What the hell is this? Scoreless? You going to get one point? One? One, one, you couldn't hit a free throw. You couldn't attempt the damn free throw. 62 million dollars, 62 million dollars. See, there's a difference. LA had no choice but to pay Anthony Davis. Cause ain't no Anthony or Davis. Anthony Davis is available running around. But Milwaukee didn't mind giving Giannis the $62 million. Identical contracts. Three years, $186 million. They ran to the, to the negotiate table to give him that money. They didn't even negotiate. You want the $62 million? Here you go. The Lakers are like, okay, if we must. Because they had no choice. But if you Anthony Davis, it ain't about none of that. You know what it's about, Anthony Davis? It's about you loving your brother, LeBron James, enough to maximize your potential. Night in, night out, man. I know you helped deliver the chip. I get that, his fourth ring. That was in the bubble. Do you know why people think that Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Lakers would not have won if the season were not interrupted? It ain't because of LeBron. They feel that way because they're not even talking about Anthony Davis' ability. What they're saying is he wouldn't have made it through the season. He's injury prone. He'd have got hurt. That's what they're saying. When are you going to prove him wrong, Anthony Davis? When are you going to prove him wrong? And by the way, I'm just talking about injuries. That's throwing you a mulligan there. You weren't injured last night. It was the opening game of the season. Jan, you know, Jokic, rather, shows up, immediately picks up right where he left off and drops a triple-double. When are you going to answer the damn call? Consistently. Consistently. LeBron needs you. I'm looking at all these changes that the Lakers made. Dennis Schroeder's gone. Lonnie Walker the fourth is gone. Malik Beasley gone. Troy Brown Jr. is gone. Mo Bamba's gone. Gabriel's gone. Cole Swider, Shaquille Harrison. These guys. Look who the Lakers have. Look who they've kept around. First of all, you kept Anthony Davis. You kept Austin Reed. You kept D'Angelo Russell and Rui Hachimura. You acquired Gabe Vincent from the Miami Heat in free agency. We know that brother could play. We saw him in the finals. Jared Vanderbilt contract extension. He's still here. Christian Wood 
You got him. Tall, lanky body can do some things for you. Torian Prince is not a bad pickup. Jackson Hayes is not a bad pickup. Cam Reddish, Jalen Hood Shavino. I'm just looking at some of these names. What's up? You got role players. You got depth. You've got defense. You've got perimeter shooting. You've got athleticism. You've got leadership and greatness in LeBron James. It's really about Anthony Davis. You going to show up or not, bro? Scoreless in the second half with Jokic on the other side after you've been talking junk about how you were talk junk about and how you were anxious and ready to answer the call and you went to bed like this? Nah, it's unacceptable. Something got to give. Something's got to give. We got to stop making excuses. LeBron James was mic He talked about how this is Anthony Davis's team weeks ago. He was mic for Tuesday night's game. He's doing everything in his power to give Anthony Davis the team. The Lakers are doing it by playing LeBron James just 29 minutes like they did last night. They're basically saying, Anthony Davis, take us there. Darvin Ham, the coach, gave you the green light to shoot six threes a game. You know good and damn well you've been shooting about 18% over the last few years on threes. Even though it's climbed up to 30 last year, that was an aberration. But Anthony Davis got to show up. Otherwise, the Lakers have no chance. The Le Anthony Davis is holding the Lakers championship aspirations in the palm of his hands. Ladies and gentlemen, they have no chance to make it to the conference finals unless Anthony Davis shows the hell up. Remember I said that. Remember I said that.